Hey, you've tuned into T.C. McCarthy, the most handsome and entertaining science fiction author on YouTube. NASA's done it again. This time they've come up with a concept that's really cool. They're going to put a drone on Mars, launching in 2020. Stay tuned to find out more. Hey, you've tuned into T.C. McCarthy, the most handsome and entertaining science fiction author on the planet. Yeah, you heard it right. NASA is up to something cool again. But before we go there, pew, check out this video about my contest. I'm running one right now. Basically, I'm giving books away. It's not even a contest. Check out that video and, and enter if you want to. And if you don't want to enter that contest, pre-order my book. Use your own money to buy it. I know that would be even better, to be honest. Pre-order my book. I did a video here, pew, explaining why that's so important. So I definitely appreciate it if you could do that. All right, so what is NASA up to now? Well, they're going to put a drone on Mars, a helicopter kind of drone. It's not going to carry any scientific instruments. Why won't it carry any scientific instruments? Well, basically, NASA is just trying to prove that they can fly something on the red planet. And you might be asking yourself at this point, well, why would that be so difficult? Why could we fly drones on Earth all the time? Why is it so hard to fly something like that on Mars? Well, the fact of the matter is it's incredibly difficult to fly something like that on Mars. Not impossible, but more difficult because Mars atmosphere is 1% the density of that of Earth. You need air that has a certain density for the earthbound drones to bite into, whether they're a fixed wing or, or a helicopter design. Those blades have to be able to bite into the air and get lift, the kind of lift that they need to fly. And with only 1% of the density on Mars, that's a problem. It's not nearly as easy to get lift on Mars like it is on Earth. But NASA engineers have designed a drone that they think is going to make it, and they've already completed most of the tests required for it. So what they've done so far, they've tested it against extreme temperatures, like very, very hot temperatures you experience sometimes on Mars, including very, very cold temperatures. They've done basically everything they need to do other than some clean room work that's required for essentially mating it to the next rover they're going to send up there. So this thing, apparently, it's going to be attached to the rover. The rover is going to land on Mars, and then off flies this little drone that's going to putt, putt, putt around, around the surface of Mars, which is fantastic. Ne that means next generations of Mars rovers might be airborne ones. They might have more range. Uh, they might be able to fly farther faster because they're airborne. And all of this is going to be solar powered, which is even more cool. Now, the one obstacle, the, the, there is another obstacle they have to overcome, and that's the time lag. I mean, if you know anything about um, how fast radio waves travel, you know, through space, even though they're traveling the, essentially the speed of light, it still takes time for them to travel the distance to Mars and then return. And so you're not going to be able to control this rotary copter thing with a joystick from Earth. Basically, you're going to have to account for, you're going to have to, develop a system that accounts for the time lag, which means that some, it's going to be some sort of programmable system that, that enables the drone to follow commands from start to finish and then pause at some point where then the operator can tell it to do whatever and go the next leg, those sorts of things. So it'll be really interesting to see what they develop in terms of control systems for this. But we're there. They're on the verge of essentially mating a drone with the next Mars rover. It launches in 2020, and I think that's going to be really cool. This is truly next generation scientific expl exploration right here during our lifetime. I can't wait to see the video. So that wraps up this video. I just wanted to touch on that topic really quickly, and I hope you enjoyed it. Picture of my next book, Pew, Tiger Burning Here. It comes out July 2nd. Either enter my contest or pre-order it now. I'd really appreciate it. End transmission. Hey, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click the subscribe button. And then if you do subscribe, don't forget to click the bell icon because that will let you know when I put up new content. You'll get an automatic notification so that you can say, oh, TC McCarthy put up a new video. I better go ahead and watch it. Also, I'm running a contest. I did a video of it right here explaining what the rules are and why I'm doing it. But basically, it's not even a contest. It's a giveaway. Why aren't you entering? Go ahead, take a look at that video, enter the contest, and get a book for free. This is free stuff. You don't have to pay for it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you soon.